Holy moly, I actually painted my nails this week. Yeah, it's kind of what it smells like, plastic bubblegum, if there is such a thing. Yeah, that blah, 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 a story. But what's on your lips, girl? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites of foodies for you today and it was a girly week. I think I was just excited about Valentine's Day coming up and so I was just playing with pinks and warm tones and kind of like bridal sort of looking makeup and just girly. So it was a girly week. So I have some girly favorites this week. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Holy moly, I actually painted my nails this week, which is a big deal because I can't even remember the last time I painted my nails, but it's been a while and I love this polish and I really like the name too because it's called Leslie. This is from Zoya. I got this during their like special promo that it was free, but then you paid the promo shipping, which was $15. So you got four polishes for $15. So it was a really good deal. This is such a pretty color. It's like a pinky lavender with really fine fuchsia micro shimmer but then it has like this blue flashing to it it's gorgeous the formula is really nice it applied really well it's been wearing well i love this and i i love that it's called leslie too it's such a pretty color and then i like the name also on my eyes this week i pulled out my Lorac unzipped palette the original one i haven't worn this in a while but i love this palette i think it's awesome quality i think it's so pretty it's so bridal and just I don't know, makes really sweet sort of makeup looks. And I feel like you really can get very wearable looks. I mean, I went a little bit more, I always kind of go a little bit more with my makeup because I like a lot of makeup. But on an everyday basis, you really could just get the blending shades and then just either take like the cream shade or one of these lighter colors. And it really does make just very wearable, sweet makeup. So... I love these. I've mentioned before the Lorac Pro shadows are really not my favorites, but I love the unzipped palettes. I think they're really nice. And I just feel like the texture of these is so different than the other ones. I don't know why it's so different, but it is. And I really like them. The quality of these shadows, they just blend well, they wear well, and they just make really sweet girly sort of makeup looks so pretty on my cheeks this week i wore these individually but i really do like them together today i put them on together and i think they totally work first is the it cosmetics this is the vitality cc plus vitality brightening cream blush in naturally pretty i've mentioned before i really do like the it cosmetics cream blushes for some reason i just feel like they're easier to work with than other cream blushes other cream blushes just kind of give me trouble but these I don't know I feel like they're they just work better I do use the elf small stipple brush and I stipple them on I really find that that helps a lot so that right there is pretty intense I don't obviously have it like that on my cheeks <laughs> because my cheeks don't look like this right now but I mean you really can get a lot of color with this blush but I mean you can sheer it out too where it's just a very kind of wearable you know peachy sort of pretty color it's gorgeous I love it they wear really well and I like them by themselves but then also as bases so they're sort of like I don't know they have they have different roles. They can stand alone, but then they can also be paired with something else to help another blush last even longer and just give you a more intense look on your cheeks. So I love that blush. And what I'm wearing that cream blush with today is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. This is in medium rose. Holy moly, I think you might need this blush, or at least one of them. I mean, I can't speak for the other ones because I don't have those, but I just love the texture of this blush and just how it goes onto the skin, how it kind of has this little bit of a glow to it. It's really just a beautiful blush and a really nice formula. This color, now I purposely picked one that kind of had more like light veining in it. So I probably have a lighter one, you know, than some people because you you know, some of them on the display that, well, there were only two on the display, but the other one on the display had a lot like more of the dark color. So I picked the one with the lighter tones. I think I'm going on and on about that. I think you get what I'm saying. 
<laughs> but this is just a really pretty kind of like nudie pink blush you know what i mean like it's a pink but then it has this like subtle sort of a, a look to it and then this little bit of a glow it's just beautiful i love this i thought about getting the other two or one of the other two but the lightest one is kind of like a peachy color and it i don't know i'm not really drawn to that one and then the other one i wonder if it's going to be too dark where i could make it work but i just don't know how much i would grab for it because you know this is kind of one of those it's going to go with a lot of different things and it's it's really the right one for my skin tone so i don't know I love this one, but I'm curious about the other one. So let me know if you have the other ones, what you think about them. And then I just have a ton of lip products here. It was one of those weeks where I was starting out with something in the morning and then I would switch to something else in the afternoon or even in the evening. So I just wore a bunch of different lip products and I liked a lot of them. So I have a lot of favorites. First off is this thing, <laughs> this thing. Um, this is from QVC and this was part of like a duo, like a nude lip duo. Um, and this is the brand Dalton. I had never heard of them before, but they were on one day and I got sucked in. I think it was like $25 for two of them. So, you know, pretty affordable, like just a little bit more than drugstore prices, but it's a double ended thing. So you've got the lipstick on one side and the gloss on the other. I like both of them. This is the more nude one. And then there's a more pinky one. I really enjoy both of them, but I wore the nude one more. This one is the buff gloss, but I don't know the lipstick name. So whichever one is the buff, and then whatever the lipstick is. This is the one I was wearing. First off, I really like the shape of the lipstick. It kind of is very like bowed. So it really like is easy to apply and it's a really nice formula. It is so creamy and comfortable, like really nice. Once I wore this, I was like looking up the brand and wanting more of the lipsticks because it's really, really comfortable and a good formula and then the gloss smells amazing oh my gosh like creme brulee or cupcakes or something and this is just a really pretty color so the lipstick is more on the kind of like brownie nude side but it's still very nude but it has a good amount of color where it doesn't wash you out and then the gloss is just a really pretty glossy lighter version of this so they're gorgeous individually but they're really nice paired together and i just like that you have them like together it makes it so easy and convenient just to throw in your purse so i love this i would love to try more of their lipsticks because it's really nice quality it was comfortable it wore well not like crazy long wearing but you know pretty well for a cream comfortable lipstick and i really enjoy this sweet pink lipstick this is from nyc this is the get it all lip color and this is in pink digis pink digis pink digis I don't know how to say that, but I found this at Target and I think it said on the display, this is supposed to be like a comfortable lipstick that's pretty long wearing. And I did find it to be fairly long wearing. Um, I mean, not like all day, but I mean, it stuck around on my lips, but isn't it just like the sweetest girly pink lipstick? It does have that kind of like fakey, plasticky, I don't even know, bubble gum, like plastic bubble gum. Yeah, it's kind of what it smells like, plastic bubblegum, if there is such a thing, but it smells like plastic plush, pl plush, plus bubblegum. So kind of a funky smell, but I really do like the color. I think it's comfortable on the lips. And like I said, it did stick around for a good amount of time. So I think this is pretty impressive. And I think it was like three or $4, so really affordable too. And then gosh, I just want to talk about all three of these. So I'm just going to talk about all three of them. So first off, I wore this with this gloss, which I don't think this gloss is available anymore, which is a tragedy because this is so pretty. I do have this on today with the other thing I'm about to talk about. This is the Kat Von D Long Lasting Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lovesick. And it's just like the sweetest girly pink. It's kind of like a mauve mid-tone pink. Chester just joined us. He's scratching my chair right now. That's his way of saying, I'm here, mama. So anyway, that was just a really pretty pinky color. I love that. So I wore that. I think it's really nice by itself, but I wore it with this gloss. I just want to mention it because I love this. And if you can somehow find it somewhere, 
I would say get your hand on hands on it. This is the Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gel something something in Fuchsia Mermaid. And it's like this duochrome amazingness. It's like purple and pink. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look like much by itself, but it just catches the light and it has this gorgeous micro shimmer. It's amazing. I love it so much. And together they're gorgeous. Let me show you layered. He's scratching my chair again. <laughs> What are you doing? You're such a mess. He's just saying hi today. So there they are layered together. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Why is this not still available? It makes me so sad. I think they were just for the holidays or something. They were on clearance for a little bit, but then I think they've gone away from clearance on Sephora's website. But anyway, if you can find it. It's gorgeous. And then the other thing that I'm wearing with Love Sick that I also love by itself, I need to do a haul. I've been picking up little random things here and there. I need to collect it all together and do a haul. But this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bossy? Baki? B-A-C-I. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sure it's something obvious. I'm sure I should know, but I don't. So this is like a cool toned kind of like almost taupey, pinky nude sort of a color is how I would describe it. I don't know, like a, like a taupey mauve maybe is a good way of describing it. But it's beautiful. One of my managers was wearing this at Sephora and I was like, we were talking about something and then I, you know, listened to her obviously. I'm listening, I'm actually listening, actively listening. But then I was like, oh man, you know, that blah, 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 the story. But what's on your lips, girl? <laughs> And it was this, and she was like, oh, it's this, you need it. So there was only one left. So I got it, I grabbed it, and it's beautiful. It is so pretty. And then with Love Sick, I think they pair really nicely together. It is a liquid lipstick. Same with this one. They're liquid lipsticks. They're not the most comfortable ones, in my opinion. I think they're still fine, like if you're used to liquid lipsticks, but I wouldn't say get them for the comfort. I would say get them for the color, but just knowing that they're a liquid lipstick. So that's sometimes why I pair them with a gloss to make them a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, this is gorgeous. And no fooies this week, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or your Valentine's plans. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you have a great day with either your significant other or just your family and friends. You know, it's a day of love. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a great weekend. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.